Hello Unlimited Friends, it's Zara back again with Q&A about the Law of Attraction and its application to our lives. So first of all, before I even get started, I'm not going to read her question because it's very long, but it's about chasing a specific person. In this video, I'm going to say to you, stop chasing a specific person and instead make them chase you. And definitely it is all about law of attraction. You see, when you put all your attention on attracting one person, you put them on a sort of a pedestal and you give them celebrity status, which makes you a fan. And for fans, celebrities are out of reach. That's the biggest mistake you're making in this video. I'm going to show you how to switch that around so that they come chasing after you. So, welcome back to those who are new here. Hi, I'm Zara Mahoon. I help people understand and apply the law of attraction and positive thinking. And this is my virtual hot seat. If you want to find out more about my work, please visit my website, zmahoon.com, which is also where you can submit a question for me to answer for you. All right. So, as I said before, today's video is in response to Astha's question. I'm posting the question in the description below because it is quite long and it would take up a lot of time to read. So in this video, I'm first going to explain to you the law of attraction dynamics that are at work when you want one specific person. And that is the thing that makes it harder to manifest the one specific person. Then I will explain to you what to do instead so that um, so that you can get them to chase you. And lastly, I will go specific on Asta's question. So let's get started. You see, the first thing that goes wrong is that when you want someone so much that you feel like you your world is not complete without having them in it, this means that you are telling the universe that for you, there are no other options. So what happens is all other doors close. And if you don't feel worthy of this relationship, if you have problems that you think in your head, if you think that there are problems because of which this person cannot be yours, now that one door behind which that person stands that you want, it's blocked with huge, big rocks and resistance. So you only allowed yourself one door and now you've got it packed up with resistance and you can't get through it. So this is why it is a problem and it's more difficult to manifest that one person that you want. And here's the thing that I want you to understand. Yes, you have to give up the idea that there's only one person in the world for you. Because if you haven't experienced anything else other than this person, you have no idea what is possible. That's why we say you don't know what you don't know. It's like I tell you, here, sweetheart, this is a new fruit that I have brought from a new country that I visited. And you say, no, I'm happy with the fruits I have. I don't want to taste this. But what if you tasted this and you fell in love with it? You see? And so um, in Asta's question, she was like, I have this, I am in love with someone, but I have this proposal that has come to me through a friend and this person is a doctor, but I don't feel anything for this person because I'm in love with this person who doesn't want me anymore. So Asta and anyone else who is in this situation, you know what you're doing is, you are, you are telling the universe that there's only this one person in the world for you and you've excluded everyone else. Now, remember that law of attraction is exact. It will give you the exact match to your vibration. So if this one person that you want is not coming into your life, it just means that your vibration is not lined up with them. So think about, here are a couple of things I want you to think about. 
when you have an attitude of abundance, you are going to manifest things that you never imagined could happen for you. So think about the vibration of the person you are chasing versus your vibration. Are you feeling, so when you look, when you think about this person that you're chasing, how do they carry themselves? Are they carrying themselves with confidence? I got you there. Because if they are carrying themselves with confidence and you are not, are you a match? No, you're not. If that person that you want to manifest is, is carrying themselves with knowing that they are amazing, that they are amazing, beautiful, confident, dressed well, how are you presenting yourself? Because if you are not an exact match, you cannot manifest this person. You've got to have the same vibration that this person has. If you're putting them on a pedestal and you're down here, they're up here, you're down here, is your, is your vibration a match? No. If you're putting them on a pedestal, you've got to put yourself on a pedestal as well so that your vibration is equal to theirs. Otherwise, you cannot manifest them. Now think about this person that you want. Are they happy? Are they happy because happy people, satisfied people, people who are having a great life, are enjoying their life. All sorts of good things are happening for them. And where are you? Because you cannot attract a happy, satisfied person into your life if you yourself are not happy and satisfied with who you are. Do you, when you see this person, do you feel a vibration of neediness from them? I'm going to say no, you don't feel a neediness from them. That's why you are chasing them. Because you have a vibration of neediness. So how can a vibration of neediness match up with a vibration that is that says, I am complete. I don't need you in my life. I am complete without you. So if you want that person who has that kind of uh, vibration that says, I am complete without you, you've got to have a vibration that says, I am complete without you. You see, and that is why self-worth is so important. It is so, 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 so important to love yourself because when you love yourself and you truly believe that you are the biggest gift to mankind, that is when other people also think that same thing about you. And that is when they will come chasing you. But ideally speaking, sweetheart, you don't want them to chase you and you don't want to be chasing them. You want to come together as an equal. As an equal. Because in any relationship that is going to work, being subservient, is not an option. You're not going to be happy in that kind of a relationship. You've got to come together as equals and you've got to remain equal. It's, it's Jayani. It's Jayani who sent me this uh, message. So she says, if I try to manifest my ex back, I do have feelings to, uh, I don't have any feelings to start the relationship as I still have feelings for my ex. If I try to manifest my ex back, do you think it will work? He has a new girlfriend and I don't know whether they are going to marry. So Jayani, sweetheart, love you so much. What do you think after everything that I've shared with you? What do you think? Do you think that you can breathe in, let go and become someone who does not need your boyfriend, your ex-boyfriend anymore? You must have seen in, in movies that a lot of times when, when a hero or a heroine wants to attract a specific person, they go date other people. Right? Because chasing after someone does not work. If you chase someone, that means they're running from you. And you don't want that, do you? 
It's when you don't chase after them. Then that's when they say, hmm, hmm. Because you see, if you keep chasing after someone, then they, you are not giving them the opportunity to miss you, to discover how much they care about you. You've got to give them that opportunity and you give them that opportunity when you're not chasing after them. So Jayani, I hope that this response helps you to figure things out. And to everyone else, I hope that you enjoyed this. And if you have any questions about the law of attraction, feel free to leave me a comment or to send them to me through my website, zimahoon.com. All right. Bye for now.